activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Fun in the sun? Here we come. Good idea, Tabs. I should put some sunscreen on first. Oh no, I can't find it. Hmm, I wonder, why do I have to wear sunscreen? Oh no, is it really that important? What are we gonna do? No! Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! Whoa! Hola, amigos! That means hello, friends. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Here, Blippi, hold out your hands. Okay. Even though sunlight is good for you, we need to make sure you're protected. Perfecto, Blippi! All right. Now we can finally have some fun in the sun. Hey there, Boom! Blippi! You can't go play yet! You missed a spot! Huh? How can you tell? Here, look through these special sunglasses I made! Whoa! Cool! That's the sunscreen working to protect you. The sun gives off extra strong beams of light called ultraviolet rays. Even though you can't see ultraviolet rays, too much can cause a sunburn. What's this spot? That's the spot you missed. I hold out your hand, Bleepy. All right. Oh no, that person missed a spot too. We must protect them with sunscreen. To the Blippy Mobile. Go, Blippy, go! I'm gonna need helicopter blades and the harness. Helicopter blades, harness, confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Save that sunbather from sunburn! All right, Tabs! Let's protect some skin! Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! Tabs! Now left! We did it! Growing up! Weppa! Nice job, Bleepy! Thanks for a super adventure, Senior Super Sunscreen! And I got the answer to my question. Why do I have to wear sunscreen? I have to wear sunscreen because it protects our skin from the ultraviolet light of the sun, which can cause sunburn. Upload answer tabs. Now, who's up for some fun in the sun? Yeah! <laughs> you can't catch me, Mika. Oh, yeah? Look out for my ultimate cartwheel. Here I come. Whoa, whoa, Watch out. Whoa. 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 A secret clearing. You're right, Tabs and Debo. This does look like a perfect spot for a playground. Hmm. I wonder, what would it be like to build the ultimate blippy playground? Great question. Let's design it and build it. All right. First, we need a big play structure. Maybe it can look like a rocket. That's a great idea, Mika. It's going to need lots of shade. Looking great, Debo and Tabs. Hmm. Next, we'll need a zip line. Oh, yeah! And a musical bridge. Yeah! Oh, wow! 
we definitely need a slide. All right. Whoa! Whee! Yeah! Uh-oh, Blippi! Looks like a storm is brewing! Five minutes until rain! Oh, no! We better hurry. How about a racetrack? Four minutes until rain! We definitely need a stage. Whoa! Whoa! Three minutes until rain! We definitely need a splash pool. Two minutes until rain! Ow! And we definitely need a, a ball pit! pit. Oh, wow! Yikes! One minute to rain! Take cover, everyone! Whoa! We did it! Yar! I'm Captain Blippi. Let's set sail for the open seas. Yar! Aye, aye, Captain! Whoa! 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 Land ho! Yeah! <laughs> hmm, something is missing. That's it! It's perfect! And I have the answer to my question. What's it like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? It's Blippi-tastic! Upload answer, Debo and Tabs. Awesome work, everyone! This calls for a celebration! Yeah! Sorry, Tabs. I was just making a T-Rex shadow puppet with my hand. Aw, what a tiny dinosaur. Hmm, I wonder, what was the smallest dinosaur? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go back in time and find out. Going back in time! Whoa! We traveled 125 million years into the past, Tabs. Whoa! A dinosaur! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. You wouldn't happen to be the smallest dinosaur, would you? Oh, oh phew! I thought you were a scary dinosaur. <laughs> I'm Seamus. This is just my head. I'm stuck again. Never fear! Mina is here! Howdy! I'm Mina the Microraptor. Why do you say we try to dig my friend Seamus out? I might be only one foot tall, but I'm pretty strong. I've got an idea. Be back in a jiffy! Coconut shovels? What a great idea! Lucky for us, my four wings help me fly up there extra fast. Oh no! My coconut shovel broke! Mine too! Are you able to move, Seamus? <laughs> well, you did your best, but I guess I live here now. Maybe if we had something slippery, we could pull you out. Hey! I know a cave filled with super slippery slime! This way! Whoa! This hole is super tiny! Are you sure you can fit? Never fear! Mina is here! Be right back! Uh-oh! Whoa! Are you okay? I got the slime! Yeah! <laughs> oh! I can't believe it! I'm free! Hooray! We did it! <laughs> I might be the smallest dinosaur, but even I can do better than that! Wait, Microraptors are the smallest dinosaurs? We sure are! And we roar like this! Roar! Ah, scary dinosaurs! Run for your life! <laughs> for 
ferocious friends sure are fun. And I got the answer to my question. What was the smallest dinosaur? The smallest dinosaur was the Microraptor. Microraptors are only one foot tall, have four wings, and lived 125 million years ago. Upload answer tabs. See you later, Blippi! Buh bye Mina! Aw, but we're having so much fun! Hmm, I wonder, why do we have to sleep? <gasps> hey, it's me, Blippi! And this is Benjamin and Debo! Well, hello there! Are we all ready for a bedtime story? Not yet! We need to go through my bedtime checklist first! Pajamas? Yeah! Check! Brush teeth? <laughs> Check! Okay, Mr. Book, we're ready! Oop. Our slumber saga begins with two familiar friends looking for fun and adventure. Ribbit! That sounds like Debo! Oh no! It is Debo! We gotta save him! Blippi and Benjamin to the rescue! Whoa. Our heroes could not begin their adventure without a good night's sleep. Maybe we should rest first. Good idea, Blippi. They soon found that sleep gave them the energy to scale any obstacle, however mighty. Wow! I feel great! Look out, mountain! Here we come! They danced. <laughs> and they leapt until they reached the top of the mountain. Hmm. We're coming, Debo! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa! whoa. Ah. Woo. Woo. That was a close one. <sighs> Maybe if we push the boulder in the hole, we can walk across it. But the energizing effects of sleep were starting to wear off. <laughs> it's no use. Maybe we should rest. Our daring duo woke up with rested minds and strengthened bodies. I feel stronger! Look! We grew bigger, too! <laughs> All right! But there was one more obstacle for our duo to tackle. Hi, Bella! Would you mind moving so Debo can get down? I don't want to move. I'm grumpy. I think Bella needs a nap. Let's all take a nap. Ugh. Okay, fine. I feel great. Me too. That nap made me happy. Woohoo! Time to hula hoop. <laughs> that day, Blippi and his friends learned that sleep is the secret ingredient to happiness. <laughs> Wow, that was awesome! And I got the answer to my question. <gasps> Why do we have to go to sleep? Because it gives you energy, makes you big and strong, and makes you happy too. Upload answer, Debo. Good night, Blippi, Debo, and Benjamin. Sleep tight. I hope Grandpa Blippi gets his birthday card in time. Hmm, I wonder, how does a letter get to where it needs to go? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and follow the letters to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. I wonder where all these letters and postcards are going. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Lana the Letter. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <coughs> Lana, we're wondering, how do letters like you get to where you need to go? Whoa! Whoa! 
What's happening? We're moving one step closer to our destinations. <laughs> Just stick with me. Whee! Ooh. Ooh. Everybody, hold on. We're in for a bumpy ride. Lana, where are we going? We're being transported. Whoa, to Grandpa Blippi's mailbox? Not just yet. We're at Oof. the post office. Uh. Whoa, the post office. So cool. Whoa. Oof. Now it's time for us to get sorted. Sorted? How? First, by size. Just think like a ladder, Blippi. Huh, yeah. Wee <laughs> Once us letters and packages are sorted by size, we are sorted to face the same way. Woo! Hey, 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 that tickles. And then the letters are scanned for their stamps. Oh, no. But what if I don't have a stamp? I got you covered. Yay! Wait, where's Debo? <laughs> He's probably enjoying the ride, just like us. There you are, Debo. Where are we going now? To the mail truck! Hey, hey, hey. The truck takes every letter to the exact mailbox it needs to be delivered to. So cool! Next stop, Grandpa Blippi's house! Whee! Bye, Lana. Thanks for helping us get around the post office. Bye, Blippi and Debo! What do we got here? A birthday card from Blippi? Hot dog! Aw, he loves it! And I got the answer to my question. A letter gets to where it needs to go by being dropped in a mailbox, transported to the post office, sorted, then delivered by a mail truck. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Woohoo! So hot! I wish we had a cool treat to cool down. <laughs> That's a great idea, Debo. We'll get popsicles to beat the heat. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no! I wonder, what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? It's hard to see what's wrong. We'll need to shrink down to get a better look. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is not ready for adventure, but we are! Wow, the inside of the Blippi Mobile looks so cool! But how will we ever figure out how to fix it? Do I hear someone in need of help fixing something? Hi, I'm Wonky the Rich, at your service for any and all repairs. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Mika and Debo. Wonky, will you help us figure out what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? Hey, you bet. Here are some things we should check. First up, make sure the bolts are tight. There are a lot of bolts down here. I know just the wrench to tighten them. <laughs> Those are some sweet moves, Wonky. Ooh. I tell you what, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Ten out of ten. That one's tightened. <laughs> hey, Debo, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> Next up. Let's make sure all the switches are on. This way. Oh no! Whoopsie! Ooh. Now let's check out the gears. Woohoo! Woo hmm, I 
think the gears are supposed to move. Hey, there's a toy in the gear. Is that your toy, Debo? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm on it. <sighs> Dead gummit, it's not working. We can help. <laughs> it works! Yeah! Ho-ho! Now this is the best part of fixing things when it's all fixed. And I got the answer to my question. The Blippi Mobile wasn't working because there was a toy stuck in the gears. But now, the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Upload answer, Debo. I'm here anytime you need a helping wrench. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye bye. Growing up. <laughs> now, who's ready for a popsicle? Ta-da! That egg looks egg-tastic, Blippi. <laughs> Thanks, Mika. What should I paint on my next one? Wow! Huh? Look! <laughs> Whoa! Catch that egg! Whoa. Hello, world! Whoa! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Mika and Debo. Oh. Hi there, Blippi! I'm Beanie the Jelly Bean! A super surprise is waiting for you when you find all the eggs. Are you ready for your first clue? It's a scavenger hunt! Hmm, I wonder, can we find all the eggs that lead to the super surprise? <laughs> Here's your first clue. Ahem. When you want to bust out a silly dance, try this spot to spin and prance. Silly dance, spin and prance. Oh, I think I know just the spot. The theater. Hmm, but where's the next clue? <laughs> I think he wants us to join in. Check out this loose board. Our second clue. Hi, I'm Cheep Cheep. I've got your next clue. <laughs> You've solved one clue for your Easter party, but you'll get even closer if you follow Do Re Mi Mi Mi. It's a musical clue. To the musical bridge. <laughs> Stop! Well, stop! <laughs> Try copying me. La, 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 la. Let's play along with Chi Chi. La, 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 la. It's working! Our third clue! Oh, no! We'll save you, little egg. Oh, here it is. I'm rocking the fastest chocolate rabbit in these parts. Staying right here would be unwise. You gotta chase me to find your super surprise. <laughs> the chocolate chase is on! Whoa! Look at Rocket go! You've almost got him, Debo. It's the super surprise! We did it! Debo, look out! Whoa! Wow! Now that's a super surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Beanie, Cheep Cheep, and Rocket for answering my question. We found our super surprise. The treat baskets! Upload answer, Debo. But I wonder, who hid all the eggs? <laughs> Woohoo! I'm in the lead. Ah, <gasps> baby chick straight ahead. Change course. Silly somersault. Hey. 
Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Tabs. Hi, I'm Penelope. Can you help me? I think I'm lost. Good question, Tabs. I wonder, how can we help Penelope find her way home? What's the last thing you remember, Penelope? All I remember is following a rainbow leaf. And now I'm here. Great thinking, Tabs. We should shrink down to Penelope's size so we can see things like she does. Shrinking down! Look! Penelope's footprints! Let's retrace her steps. <laughs> I found you, Rainbow Leaf! Hey, Penelope! Wait for us! <laughs> it's so squishy! <laughs> Penelope, that's a butterfly. <laughs> a butterfly? Oh. Penelope, does any of this look familiar to you? Um, no. But I do remember a forest of yellow suns. Blippi, look! That's it! Oh, you mean yellow sunflowers, Penelope. Penelope? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so... We made it! Mini celebration dance! Can you see your house from here, Penelope? No, but I remember something. A field of black and white clouds. I hear cows mooing over there. Oh, Penelope, those aren't black and white clouds. They're cows. Yeah. <laughs> oh! That looks like fun! Woohoo! <laughs> Come on! The cows are this way! That was fun! Hey, Tabs! Tag! You're it! Oh no, not again! <laughs> oh, wow! Woohoo! I got the answer to my question. How can we help Penelope find her way home? We helped Penelope find her way home by using our eyes and ears to observe the environment around us. Upload answer tabs. Ooh, a fuzzy, fuzzy, wuzzy. <laughs> Bye, Penelope. Blippi, did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out. Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great. With the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. And we must protect it so the plants can grow. So, Blippi, what can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie. Here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, Give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have to do. And it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the Planet Earth Party. It's the Planet Earth Party. <laughs> so, Blippi, what other things can we do to protect the Earth? We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw them in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! 
But don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the planet Earth party. It's the planet Earth party. What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the planet Earth party. But it's not just our home, is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy so all the animals can be happy and healthy too. From the elephants on the savannah to the polar bears at the North Pole the monkeys in the jungle Yeah, we all call the Earth our home when it's the home for you and me. It's the place that we call home.